Introducing Lee the Wolf <laughs> Bell. Oh, well, I think it is short. And he has a button across the cage to my left, fighting out of the red corner. He stands in at six feet even. Official weight, 77 Who's kilos. That? Tonight, he is making his mixed martial arts debut, representing the Iron Wolves. And uh, joining us from Keith Lee, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Dion Bonsai Brundy. And a referee in charge is Craig Lawrence. Just about getting set, Dion running out of the red corner, out of the blue, is Lee Campbell, a touch gloves, and we are set. This is what should be highly entertaining, Dion running trains out of the Iron Wolves, under the tutelage of Ellen Orr, and also Dwayne Harper. Nice takedown by Dion Ronnie, who, as Campbell went ahead and swung for the fences, but missed as Brunny takes him down, now looking to pass. I'm going to say I might be a little bit biased to Lee West Campbell, as he is from my neck of the woods in your custody. Lee Campbell trains with an outstanding team, Team AFC. Their coach is John Anthony. The last time he fought was six weeks ago. He beat Paul Clark by arm triangle in the first round. He's a 24-year-old Welger by day. He also trains by night. No, I'm only joking. The fact of the matter is, as long as, as, long as both of these individuals deliver the best they can do, put up one hell of a fight. Hell, I'm game to go with anybody right now. And now look at Ronnie now looking at Armbar's being attempted. Beautiful job to get out of it. That is some slick Brazilian jiu-jitsu defense by Dion Ronnie. As Lee Campbell had that armbar locked He's on him, he immediately changed positions and did exactly the textbook way in terms of how to get out of the armbar then. Yeah, I'm pretty good. He was going for a power bump right there. <laughs> Didn't deliver quite well. Well, you're all familiar with delivering power bumps in your own way. In one of your side activities, as Dion Brunning is, he is a native of Cape Town, South Africa. So he comes to us all the way down from South Africa, 26-year-old web designer as well. Told me earlier, yesterday, or yesterday during our finals meeting, that he is going to look for a submission. And according to his coach, Dwayne Harper is dripping with awesomeness. Dripping with awesomeness. He's dripping with intelligence by the fact he's a web designer. That's quite a blow me out of the water. But it just goes to show it makes martial arts. You never know what you're going to get. It's not that stereotypical meathead persona. These guys are individuals. These guys are intelligent. And these guys work down hard to get to this level of performance. And speaking of working very hard, Dion Brunny worked very hard. Now he's in full mount. This is a bad spot. Lee Campbell as Dion Brunny looking to go ahead. And he has the dominant position right now as Lee Campbell just holding on to the body. Dion Brunny just looks like he's playing it smart. He's just getting a little bit of a break there, getting to breathe up. Dion Brunny is on top again. But Dion Brunny now has got the back of Lee Campbell. Then this is a precarious position for Lee Campbell. The rear naked choke is in. He's looking to go and lock it on. I don't know if it's fully underneath the chin or not. He's looking to defend his Lee Campbell. And that is a deep rear naked choke in. I don't think it's fully under. Campbell looks like he's going. He's not making any attempt to try and get out of that. As time progresses, it looks like he's just getting weaker and weaker. It seems to me, though, that it could be that, or it also could be that he is just waiting for the time to eclipse. And a beautiful oh, shot. Get in, Ellie. My goodness, as Lee Campbell turns the tide, as Dion running off the bottom. I did not expect that. You got that right on the head. And round one is in the books. A sensational First round, and Dan, would you believe that this is the first fight to get out of the first round? Four fights in, and this one's barely getting out of the first. Well, I'm going to say I'm actually really, really excited and happy about that, and I look forward to see what the rest of this fight continues with. However, Lee Campbell really surprised me, happily surprised me by the fact that he got out. I, I had no idea. I thought he was gone. I thought he was gone for the count. Don't admit that. Yeah, I'm actually a little bit surprised on the behalf of Dion Brunning. He has a significant... 
height advantage over Lee Campbell. I'm surprised he's not utilizing his jab to keep him at bay and then go for a takedown. I'm surprised he immediately rushed in for the takedown instead of using that jab, popping the jab, and keeping his distance because he could use his significant height and reach advantage to his favor, Dan. I mean, what's he like as a stand-up? Is his stand-up pretty good? I don't know a lot about this fighter and individual. Is he a good stand-up no, fighter? With Deion Brunning, it's his first fight, so a lot of times when you're making your uh, semi-pro debut, you're a little hesitant and reluctant to showcase your striking ability. You immediately want to stick to what got you there, and that's a lot of grappling competition, a lot of BJJ. That's what he's doing, but he should use his jab because training the Iron Wolves under the tutelage of Alan Orr and Dwayne Harper, they have some very good and very solid striking coaches. But as you say, with it being his first fight experience, is going to be the key. He needs to make those mistakes and hopefully learn from them. A nice uppercut delivered by Lee Campbell, and now Campbell is getting the better of the exchanges, but now Brunny kind of lunges in and cracks Campbell with the right hand. Dio Brunny trying to use that cage to his advantage, trying to get that leverage and take Campbell down. And he's going for a takedown is Dion Brunning. Brunning. One of his training partners is also Kieran Coxon, who's in his corner. You know, Kieran also told me when they talked about awesomeness that apparently this is that they train awesomeness twice a day. Now, how you train for awesomeness is beyond me, Dan. I don't know if you can shed any light on that. Well, when you train for awesomeness, it's really a kind of an acquired skill. It's something that you can't really put your thing on. And really, I shouldn't divulge the too many ways in which they do that. They wouldn't be too happy about that. How many people have this awesomeness drip that we do? But, okay. Well, you certainly are dripping with awesomeness in your own right. But now Lee Campbell is unloading a right hand and running. I'm surprised he's still standing. A left hook. Brody looking to take this fight to the mat, Brody and he played does it so. Smart there. Brody played it very, very smart there. He got a huge connection to his face. He had to grab onto something. He went slightly disorientated. I think he's just trying yeah. to regain a little bit of stability once again. Well, Deion Brody took some hard right hands. But it is Brody who's looking to pass. He's in a half guard right now, but he's looking for a straight arm bar. It was Lee Campbell. You know, Campbell's so slick. You know, he has a very solid, very strong striking skill, and also his ground game, and a beautiful job to reverse Christ. using the fence and using the cage for leverage. Campbell seems very, very calm. He seems cool, collected. He's just looking for that opportunity to either make a submission or deliver those strikes. Dion running on the bottom. He's just kind of holding on to the body and looking to neutralize Lee Campbell. I have to say, as it stands now, this fight's been pretty evenly matched. It has been back and forth. Eleanor, that's why he's such a fantastic matchmaker. Because of making fights like this here at the Sold Out Bonus Arena, here at home, not a seat to be had in this building. This is what I love about 10th Legion MMA. None of the guys that step into the MMA cage want to just play things by halves. It's constant action, action, action. And that's what we want. That's why the people come in. That's why the crowds get bigger each and every time, each and every 10th Legion MMA event. And referee Craig Lawrence stacks him up. He said that there's a lack of activity. Dion running is gasping for air. As Lee Campbell looking for to keep it standing, but a beautiful job to take it down again. You know, Dion running, I'm very impressed with his wrestling ability as we have 10 seconds to go with this. Our second round, 10th Legion ID. Sold out bonus arena. And then it goes to the next round. Alongside by dancing cage side here. Ray, I am very impressed with the fact he's grappling ability, but for some reason it looks like a little bit desperation. As soon as he's getting in close, he's just scrambling for anything to grab. And that I is from one of the well, I'm impressed with the chin of Dion running. His chin, his, chin, his chin was tested in that second round. He definitely does not have a glass jaw, that is for sure. As we welcome Willoughby Harriet here at 10th Legion 9. Harriet is one of our sensational ring girls joining by so both Danny and Ashley as well. That's another big plus for 10th Legion. Some of the most gorgeous ring girls that you will find this side of the UK. Well, you got to have a little bit of beauty in the beast at this kind of event, don't you? You know, so it's just a just a nice added element. There's always a little bit of derriere on show just to add that nice flair. And, and it's, a, it's a flair that is warranted and that is welcome to as we get ready for this, our third and final round on Dan, on your unofficial scorecards, how do you have it? I'm going to have to go as it stands now. I'm going to have to go with Campbell. My personal opinion, I feel Brunning is doing well, but he's scrambled a little bit more, and Brunning looks a little bit more out of breath. I think Campbell may have the edge if things go his way. Certainly see what happens. This is our third and final round. Craig Lawrence, our referee, out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks, Dion Brunning, wearing the yellow is Lee Campbell. And he's stepping in with the left. He misses, but he's connected with the knee. 
Just give him a knee to the face. What? Just give him a knee to the face. Just reiterating, Deion Brunning has one hard damn head. That's a skull that... Man, I wish I had a chin like that, Dan, because my goodness, he has taken some heavy blows here tonight. I'm not going to lie, Ray. I'd rather not be in the head. No, I would rather not be in the head either, but, I mean, it just shows the testament. And look at that as he reverses positions, but he may wound up in a triangle. Joke Lee Campbell has the triangle. And he Get in, Lee. Is he wrong? Chopped out. Defeats Dion running by way of triangle. My prediction was right, and I think the same terminology to say right now. That's with the three 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 How are the lights? What a win by Lee Campbell and Dad. Dion Runny made one mistake in reverse position, but he left his arm in there as Leon Campbell locked on, grabbed a hold of him with his legs, grabbed a hold of the head. How did he tap out? Yeah, but again, let's see. Dion Runny, this is his debut fight. He's going to make a lot of mistakes before he makes some pluses. Congrats to both fighters, and let's say congratulations for the first fight actually making it three rounds. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 38 seconds of round three. For your winner, by way of tap out due to try and go show, we... The Walls Campbell. Let's also have a round of applause for Dion Brunny. Ladies and gentlemen, you want, we want to let you know to go ahead and pick up some cage steel clothing. They have a fantastic clothing booth over here to my left. They have a wide array of mixed martial arts apparel. Pick up some cage steel apparel. They have t-shirts that are going, and they have deals that range from five pounds on up. So pick up some cage steel clothing. Also, be sure to visit the bar here at the Bonus Arena. Enjoy your favorite beverage here at the